Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to DK Soft Souls Code for Life Learn to Code with Projects. In this tutorial, we will start a series of HTML programming step by step. In this tutorial, we will learn what is HTML. Computers use language in order to communicate just like people do now in the way computers interact with internet is through a computer language called HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language Hypertext is the process of linking objects to each other so that when one object is clicked then the corresponding linking object can be viewed. HTML was created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1990 thanks to him so that and the purpose of this is to so that the hypertext can be used through the internet. The ability of creating hyperlinks is the fundamental capability of HTML. HTML describes the structure of web pages using markup and HTML has elements, which are the building blocks of HTML pages. HTML consists of markup tags and these tags can be used to classify and group elements in a web page and the web browsers then translates these tags into a website. You can view the HTML code of a web page by going to the view source and there you will see the markup tags, the HTML tags and, and there you will see the words surrounded by angle brackets and these are the HTML tags. The web page consists of certain tags and these tags must be present in every web page HTML code. Like see the example of a web page showing you in front of you HTML code. The HTML tag that you uh, that you see on, in, uh, on your screen. This tag tells the web browser that it is reading an HTML page. Head tag which contains web page title, scripts and also metadata. Next is the body tag and this tag defines the visible part of the web page. Now the body tag contains other HTML elements like the P element which is for the paragraph, H element which are the H1, H2 that are the heading elements and the A element like the, this is called the anchor element for the for creating links. And there are many other elements. We will learn about all these elements in the upcoming lessons. HTML element consists of opening and closing tag with the content in between these tags. Also there are HTML elements with only one tag. We will learn about all these tags in the upcoming lessons. The opening tag defines the web browser will start reading the element. And the ending tag defines the web browser will stop reading the element. The tag also consists of some attributes that add some extra parameters and features to the elements like styling attributes which add styles like color, alignment and much more. To code a website, you need an editor. Different editors can be used. Some are free and some are so you have to buy them online but the most popular editor uh, that are nowadays using and that are free is the notepad for windows and we will use notepad plus plus here and also text edit for mac watch the video on different types of editors so this is the html Hopefully you would have learned something new about HTML. In the next lecture we will learn about HTML5, the most updated version of HTML. If you found this tutorial a beneficial one then like it and do share it with your circle because sharing is caring. 
Also subscribe to DK Soft Souls and click on the bell shaped icon here to not miss any lesson. You can also reach us online on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus and other social networks. Links are given in the description. So stay tuned. Keep watching DK Soft Souls Code for Life and learn to code with projects.